Hello. Um, this was a topic that I had yesterday in a conversation, and I didn't really prepare much slides, but I think I can just give you a quick talk. And I really love uh, my current working method is that I work in pilot and co-pilot. What that means is that I have a colleague at work which we, which, uh, with whom I do every project with. We basically work in the sense uh, that one of us is leading and is the owner, but the other person is always checking uh, over the shoulder, let's say, what the, you know, how the project is going. And this has excellent um, uh, repercussions because when you're working with someone else, you have to make sure that you're doing documentation that's useful and that someone else is, uh, finds readable. They always pick up on any little mistakes that you made, so the overall quality of the work increases. And one of the things that I'm really passionate about and that I really like about working in this method is that you are training someone. So if you are assigned a project lead, normally it's because you are good at something. And especially in the VMware community, you know, we start getting our certifications and some of us get to go to VMworld, but maybe not all of us go. Uh, not every colleague in the company gets to go. So there's always that skills gap. But when you work in pilot copilot, you are actually training the other person and you're explaining what your thought process is and why we're doing this this way. And they can also contribute to it, right? This also is uh, one of the main reasons why I love it. It's the reason why I can come to VMworld and spend a week away from work and not be worried about anything. Because I know that there's someone back in the company that knows everything that we were doing, has the current status, can reply to anything about it, knows how to contact me, and I have a close working relationship with that person, obviously, and allows you to basically take vacations. Know that so if something happens during an on-call rotation, not just one person can fix it, right? This is, um, my manager always said that this is also great because we never know when someone might get a really good opportunity. And when, you, when someone gets a good opportunity and they hand in their resignation, you only get two weeks to do a brain dump. Whereas if you do this all the time, then you really have not only, um, you know, like I said, a proper documentation, you have people that are trained, people that are sharing knowledge, that are accustomed to sharing knowledge, and that can use that model with whoever comes next. Um, let me think what else I wanted to talk about. The other part about uh, working in pilot, co-pilot, that is uh, really cool, is that you get to mentor someone, let's say it that way. Uh, because of the way that the VMware community is and the way that the VMware certifications are, sometimes people don't think that they can, or they, or they, they see certifications and they don't think that they're good enough yet to take an exam. So when you're talking all the time with a, with a person, you can actually encourage them and tell them, listen, you're very, very close to taking the BCP exam. You just need to review some topics, make sure you check the blueprint. But you know this already. You do this every day. We see it together. And finally, uh, one thing that I want to say about working in Pilot Copilot, the most important thing is finding people that you really gel with. And I say gel because obviously it has to be a smart person, has to be a responsible person, but it also has to be a person that has enough values and enough candor to tell you when you're doing things wrong and also to tell you when he thinks that things could be done better, but also focusing just on giving the best quality product possible, which is what we all want to do. We want to be able to give the best work that we can. All right, that was my presentation. Uh, this is something that I had a quick discussion with someone and he really liked the concept. And I told him, oh, and one last thing. Uh, one thing that I told him is, it's not just because if people want to leave the company, it's also because if you want to promote someone, you, can, you do not just add responsibilities to a person. You, you, have, you have to have him stop doing things and tell him to do other things. So at that moment, you, this person that you, is already trained and is the co-pilot can assume the responsibilities and become the next lead. All right, that's it. Thank you so much.